history of domestic violence and stalking. Also, my pictures are being sold and have been sold in porn sites and websites and to creep people behind my back. These are the things that I had to deal with. These years, I've been secluding myself before isolation became possible or a thing to do. Mm -hmm. My water heater broke up the place to my landlord. I emailed him and everything like that. They gave me a new one. The tenant upstairs, nothing happened to them. A pipe broke in my wall to my a unit, and they had to fix this. He accused me of somehow breaking this little piece of something. People broke into my garage, so he allowed me to put a doorknob there, okay? Now that I have the stalking and the abuse, domestic abuse, stalking, sex trafficking, and things of that nature, and I live in the house with just me, my three girls, and my 11-year-old son, he take the only thing that I got to keep me safe with all the doors I have in my one unit over the tenants upstairs. Look how the doors stay open sometimes. It don't be us, but you messing with my safety, sir. And you see, it broke. Somebody kicked the door in, but nobody said nothing about that. I complained. He never fixed it. You see this? But that's what I got to do with And I get letters. People kicking the doors. People upstairs. Let me just show you real quick what upstairs look like. You see how many doors I got to get in my house? Oh, don't let me show you the yard. There's a door to get in there. There's a door to get in there. Look at this. We just gonna take a journey upstairs. Since the landlord wanna blame me for upstairs. See this? This is the second floor unit. Okay? See all that right there? Don't take no fucking pictures and send it to me, motherfucker. This is second floor, bitch, not first. I don't feel safe in this house. I feel harassed by my own fucking landlord and all the shit you want to talk about. I'm disturbing your peace. But let's talk about why that say stars right there, y'all. Y'all think I'm bullshitting in here? Please. 